Hello, this is Mr. Reiterter, Director of Clearwax and Consultant Audiologist. Thank you for joining me in yet another demonstration video of our recently developed Waxgate, which is due to be launched in early autumn 2022. If you are interested in learning more and being added to our mailing list to keep up to date with all developments with the Waxcape, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. So we have a patient here who attended with bilateral dark um, earwax and we're just in the left ear here. I'm using our 4.25 millimeter speculum to straighten and dilate the ear canal. Uh, the speculum come in different sizes. Um, we've got a smaller one than this for more narrow paediatric ears, which is a 3.5 millimeter uh, diameter speculum. And then we've got two larger ones, a five millimeter and then a 5.75 for more for your mastoid cavities. So you can see we've removed the occlusion. Now I'm just moving a bit, bit of keratin on the anterior lateral canal wall and that's all but clear now. We're going to change the focus and visualise the eardrum. I think there was a bit more keratin in a moment and I'm just going to remove that so we get a fuller view but again you can see the magnification there. I've just adjusted the focus to um, to to focus on this keratin which is on the front part of the ear canal and also the roof. We're very lateral, it's near the entrance and there we are. We're going to go back in and I'm going to now visualise the patient's left eardrum. And you'll see just how amazingly clear the view is. I think I'm just going to adjust the focus a bit more so you can see those capillaries a bit more vividly. There we are. So you've got a stunning view of the eardrum. And we're just having a geared inspection all the way around. Um, same patient, this is just their writer. So this here was semi blocked with wax. Um, they did have some wax laterally, which is like this piece here, and there's a lot more wax further in the ear, up against the eardrum. And again, I've just adjusted the focus so we can clearly visualise the wax more on the outer third, the cartilaginous portion. On a couple of occasions, the wax blocked the suction tube, so I had to come out and unblock it. You can see that I'm trying to just shake it and unblock it, but I had to eventually come out and just use a cleaning rod to push through the, uh, the suction probe. And you can just see that focus, the magnification, the clarity in view, it is quite striking. Just gonna tease that out. So the, the main occlusion is removed, it's just some wax and keratin at the base on the posterior canal wall. So just hovering over here, we don't wanna make contact with the patient's ear canal. I'm just letting the suction do the work. I'm just trying to lift this up and away. And you can see all those skin adhesions that are holding onto the wax. And as you lift it up and away, you detach it from the skin, which then mobilizes the wax and we can safely remove it. So there is a bit of wax, just a bit further in, deeper in the ear. You, may can, you probably see that in the distance, but obviously it's not in focus because I'm more, more interested at this moment of removing this that I'm removing now. And I think at this stage, we're entering the deep ear deep, deeper. We're just dilating the ear canal, I'm straightening it. And I'm just gonna get that in focus. There we are. As you can see, it's near the eardrum. And we're gonna put the suction probe in. And I think it just blocked the suction probe and we're at risk of pushing it further in the ear there. So I just came back out and it is right up against the eardrum that is. It's on, in the isthmus region. You can see some of the wax is actually uh, on the annulus, which is the faraway cartilage outer ring, uh, which gives the eardrum its tension and its strength. So it's right up against the drum. I'm just gonna, I went from a higher angle there, so I can get a better suction grip, as opposed to a bit more horizontal, where I can potentially push it even further. So just gonna enter the ear again, just gonna dilate that, and you can see a stunning view of the patient's eardrum. Again, I'm just having a good nosy around, looking all around the edge. So you can see the anterior, the posterior, the superior and inferior quadrant. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And if you are interested in the wax coat, please feel free to email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.